comes a day in November that is so much colder than it should be. Summer is a distant memory, but soup season has just begun. Everyone should have a delicious, easy, pantry-friendly recipe for those days. I love a good garnish, so the first thing I'm gonna do is make my favorite easy garnish, crispy capers. So I'm gonna combine a quarter cup of capers with a third cup of olive oil. And then we're gonna microwave it for five minutes, stirring halfway. So the bowl is hot now, so be careful. And we're gonna strain out the capers and make sure you save the oil. We're gonna use that later. Okay, so we're gonna spread these out on a paper towel lined plate. And you can see some of them have popped and opened, almost like, uh, like popcorn, these savory, crispy little nuggets. They're crispy now, but they're gonna to continue to crisp up as they sit. So now we're gonna prep our aromatics. So very simple, we're gonna start off with a half cup of onion. You don't need to worry too much about the size because it's gonna go into the blender later. Just scoop it up and put it into a bowl. And then I've got one rib of celery. So I'm just gonna finely chop. I love the combination of celery and onion. It's really savory, not too sweet, and offers just a very neutral, mild backdrop to whatever it is that we're gonna be cooking. So celery is a little stringier than onions, so it's a better idea to chop it a little finer because we want to get things really smooth. This is a pureed, smooth bean soup. The cut of our onions and the cut of our celery is going to help that. You know, don't worry too much about getting perfect dice because this is going to be blended. And we can just drop the celery straight into the bowl with the onions because we're going to use them both at the same time in a minute. Next, I've got two cloves of garlic. So the more you chop garlic, the stronger it becomes. So we only want a mellow, mild garlic flavor. So I'm gonna slice it here. Then I'm gonna grate two tablespoons of palm because we're gonna need that later. I love adding parmesan to soups. It adds a really subtle, savory back note. And it's almost, you don't really taste it as palm, it just adds extra umami, extra savoriness. So I'm gonna heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a large saucepan of a medium heat until shimmering. So the oil is shimmering now. So we know that we're ready. We're just gonna add our celery and our onions. You should hear a gentle sizzle. You don't want that harsh sizzle. It tells you that the pan's too hot. And we're gonna cook this for six to eight minutes until it's softened. But we don't really wanna get any color. So we need to make sure that we stir it often. Okay, so the celery would have faded a little bit and the onions have started to go translucent. The best way to check if they're ready is by tasting them carefully. Mm -hmm. They're ready. So now we're gonna add the rest of our aromatics. So I've got three sprigs of thyme, our sliced garlic, and just a pinch of cayenne. This isn't to make it spicy, but just to add a subtle warmth. And we're gonna cook this until it's fragrant. That'll be about a minute. So the first thing you smell is the thyme. It always reminds me of fall. It kind of smells like the woods or a forest. And then after that, then you start getting the smell of garlic, that mellow garlic smell, and then you know it's ready. So this is a bean soup, so we need to add some beans. So I've got two cans of Great Northern beans here, and they're liquid. You can use pretty much any sort of white bean. I found that cannellini beans work well here. So we're gonna reduce the heat to medium low, and we're gonna cover and cook for six to eight minutes until they're just starting to break down. So we'll remove the thyme. There we go, one, two, three. We transfer the beans to the blender. So sometimes you'll find a bean soup can taste furry on your tongue. That's due to the starch in the beans not being fully hydrated. So by overcooking already cooked canned beans, we'll make sure we get a silky smooth soup. I'm also gonna add two tablespoons of palm to the soup. So normally we would have added broth at this point, but by minimizing the amount of liquid in the blender, that's gonna increase the friction, which allow the beans to be ground up into a super smooth silky soup. So we're gonna blend this for two minutes on low. So now we've got a super smooth puree. We need to turn it into a soup. So with the blender running on high, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter and a cup of chicken broth. After a minute, that should be completely smooth. So we're gonna transfer the soup to a clean saucepan. You can see it's pretty thick now. So it's always a good idea to use a spatula to make sure you get all of your delicious soup out of there. And we're gonna whisk in a final cup of chicken broth. I'm gonna cover the soup and bring to a simmer over medium heat. Whilst that's coming to a simmer, we're gonna chop some herbs. So I've got a tablespoon of basil here. It's always a good idea to chop basil very close to when you're gonna use it, because it can oxidize and turn brown. And we want something bright green. And then I've got two tablespoons of parsley, and I'm gonna chop fine. 
and we're going to add the herbs to the caper oil from earlier because this is going to form the other part of our garnish. And then just stir it together and that's our herb and caper oil. So the soup just come to a simmer and we can check its consistency. It's looking pretty good. It can vary greatly depending on the type of beans you're using, the brand, or even from can to can as well. So at this point, if your soup is too thick, you can adjust it with extra hot water as needed, but I don't think I need to do it here. So now I'm going to stir in a half teaspoon of lemon juice and give it a stir. So you might have noticed I haven't added any salt so far. And again, that's because the sodium content really varies between cans of beans. So if you ever want to perceive firsthand the transformative power of salt, this is how you can do it in unseasoned soup. Initially, it's gonna taste fine. It's gonna taste smooth, vegetal, but not that much flavor. You start adding some salt. That's when suddenly all the flavors come into focus. So the secret to good seasoning is to add just a little bit at a time. And every time it should improve the soup's flavor just a little bit. The moment it stops tasting better is the moment you know you've got the right amount of salt. I love plating this. You just get to see firsthand quite how smooth and silky the soup is. It forms this beautiful shiny puddle in the middle of your bowl. We've got our canvas and now we've got the real crux of the recipe, which is the garnishes. So we've got our capers from earlier, which look like these beautiful little crackling savory nuggets. We're gonna sprinkle these over. Get creative if you like, but I like to just chuck them down. And then the herb oil, this bright green herb oil, just dribble it on top. You can make some shapes if you like. It's gonna look stunning. There you have it. This is looking so good. I'm gonna have to try it now. Mm. That is so good. You just taste that super creamy soup, the briny, crispy capers, and that lovely herb oil. I hope you make this soup and it warms up that November day.